Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to wrap your interior on the uh, E87 BMW 1 Series. As you can see in the pictures, I'll be wrapping all these items myself. So, the interior was um, hideous, um, this color, I just, I just hated it. So, to begin with, uh, you got to get the uh, plastic interior trim tools, they're only like £2 on the, the Amazon. And um, I was slowly just loosening up the whole panel. I was just very worried that it would break or something like that. It's very firmly put on, which is good. Um, so you slowly have to loosen it up. I saw I put a few in there just to hold it open and just to pull it out slowly. Um, just because I didn't want to break it. So this plastic uh, panel is held in with a uh, metal clip. As you can see, I've taken out two over there. I just had one left. To take it out okay so as you can see it's held together by the metal clips and uh, sometimes the metal clip stays in uh, the socket where it was you just have to pull it out and uh, just put it back in place uh, like it there now for the uh, side door trim um, it's actually very easy you just get your plastic uh, trimmer and there's a hole in the back over there um, for your fingers, quite a big hole. You just put it in there and uh, you just move it around and uh, it should come out. Alternatively, instead of the trimming tools, you can use a flathead screwdriver, but you've got to wrap it with uh, cloth or something so that it doesn't damage the interior. But yeah, as you can see there, so I've op managed to open it from the back and then slowly you just drag it out and follow the line and it should open um, the rest of the trim. You're going to hear loud noises when these get um, unclipped, but um, don't feel uh, discouraged. That's how it's meant to sound. But yeah, these, these are also held by metal clips. So yeah, sometimes these fall off or they stay where they are. It doesn't really matter. When you clip it back on, it should be completely fine. Yeah, so it clips back on like that. Now here I was doing the other side, it's sort of the same thing, it's very very easy. Now moving on to the um, table where I'm going to be doing the wrapping. First thing you will need is some white spirit vinegar to clean the surface um, and gather all the dust. So the first thing I did was uh, I put on a microfiber towel and um, I just wiped the pieces and make sure there's no dust in there because that will affect the wrapping. So after you've cleaned uh, the surface, um, you get your wrapping paper. So I bought this from uh, Amazon for like 11 pounds. Um, it's just gloss black. So because it's in the roll, mine kept um, rolling back. So just put some like, ball and stuff on it, around it. Anyway, so I started measuring um, sort of how much wrapping paper I need. Um, I didn't want to waste any just because I wanted to use the leftovers um, for the gear knob and the um, and the start stop button. So um, a brief measurement I saw that um, that was more than enough for me and then you'll see how I slowly started cutting around making sure um, I have enough space for any um, overlay so I'll give my, I'll give you I'll give myself an extra inch um, just in case because um, you have to wrap it around the actual item as well now that's done, you pick out the paper and the actual vinyl wrap itself um, is quite flat, it doesn't roll. First thing I did was um, I got the base to stick onto the wrapping paper. And I was just slowly pushing bubbles out, just making sure it's all flat, making sure it's all clean and smooth. So I actually used my hands and that actually was perfectly fine. And they, they do give you a stick when you buy it, a little you know, stick that gets rid of bubbles. Um, so yeah, 
as you can see um, so you push it around very gently and lightly and then in the areas where it's difficult to bend it's not so smooth and not so easy to move um, that's where you put in the hair dryer to um, make it go smoother and as you can see here when it was all done I started um, sticking the final bits um, As you can see there, it was going very smooth there and I was really happy with the um, results. So I'm just doing the final bits, making sure that um, those sticker parts actually stick. Um, I'll be using the uh, hairdryer to um, make it more sticky and flexible. As you can see guys, it looks really, really good. Um, I went ahead and did the same with the um, wheel trim, with the door handle trims. So with the leftover wrapping paper, I ended up um, wrapping my start-stop button and um, I then started working on uh, wrapping the actual gear stick. Now as you can see, my start-stop button is not perfect, but um, it's, it's good enough for me to be honest with you. I wasn't even planning to do it. Um, so I used the leftovers to do that and the uh, gear stick. As you can see there, it looks a lot more slick compared to the um, normal dull silver. Apologies for the angle here. I had to put my phone on my TV just to show you the process and my stand would not fit on the actual TV. So um, apologies for the weird angle. Basically, all I'm doing is um, I'm putting in I put one big piece in there and I was just sort of trying to push it into the gaps and make it stick. So just a quick note, when you remove the start stop button, all you have to do is use one of the plastic bits and literally just go under it and pull it out, it's held in by like two clips. Um, and then once you hold it out, you need to make sure, like put the plastic key on the wire because it's very easy for it to just go inside and then get lost. So just do what I did there and make sure you have something in there to hold it in. Yeah, the last thing you want is to lose that cable. So now what I've done is basically I've picked out the plastic bits and um, I've just uh, shoved in the uh, start stop key. Um, it's held in by like one clip so it's very very easy to just clip back on and then you just push it back in and that's it it's, it's um, pretty self-explanatory apologies guys the quality is horrible I just use my phone to record these videos so you know, please forgive me um, next thing you got is the, um, the gear stick so what you do basically is you put it on drive and you press the button and you just pull it out right but it needs to be on drive now to put it back in, it's a simple process, you just push it back in and it kind of holds in place, you just adjust it and you push it in properly and um, it, will, it will clip in. So as you can see there, I was just trying to find where it fits in properly. Yeah. you got to give it a bit of a push, I just was being very gentle with it. Now finally, when you put back the uh, bits, you just literally push it back in. Um, it's kind of, it's very easy and straightforward really. But, I mean the chain just looks amazing, like, apologies, I, I don't know how to record it in a way to make it very, very clear, but um, like, you know, when you see it, like face to face, it's just completely different, it gives, it's a completely different slick feeling to the interior. And it's definitely something I'd recommend. Like there was even a, mo a point where I was thinking of um, putting in like, um, like a cool wall wrapping paper because it's interior. It doesn't, I don't really have to use vinyl, um, but I thought it'd be safe because it was my first try. But it turned out um, pretty well. Um, 
so I'm, 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 I'm very pleased with this. Okay guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm always trying to improve these videos guys, so if you have any suggestions, please put them down below. Um, apologies for the camera quality here and there, the lighting is not always as I want it to be, but I hope you've learned something today, um, especially from simply wrapping your um, interior. Um, I plan to wrap the car or pieces of the car in the future, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, um, but please look out for the next video guys where we're going to be colouring the uh, paint calipers. Okay, take care, bye.